Hi, it's Brad from WordPressSites.net. Uh, in this short five minute video, I'll just explain uh, how to change your DNS or your name servers to point to your, your new host. Uh, this will come in handy if you're, uh, if you're moving your WordPress site to a new host or a new domain and your domain is, uh, is not being uh, managed by the same, uh, the same manager as your, uh, as your hosting account. So uh, I'll just briefly explain uh, how you can do this very quickly and very simply. First of all, just log into your control panel with your, uh, with your domain manager. Uh, I'm using NetFerns for my domains. I don't like to keep my, uh, my domains managed by the same company as a hosting company for various reasons. So I, I buy most of my domains through NetFerns and I, I do my hosting with Bluehost. Um, and there's, there's different reasons that I do that if anything ever goes wrong. Um, I, I'll still control my domains. So once you log into your control panel with your domain manager, just find domains. It might not be the same in every uh, domain manager, but with NetFirms it's the third tab along. So you just go down to domains, click on domain manager. Uh, just, just for this example, I'll just use a domain that I'm not using at the moment called doblog.biz. And if we just go down here, uh, you can find uh, security. You have to click on security first. Um, the domain is currently unlocked. Normally it will be locked, so you'll have to come to security and unlock it. So we can go straight to DNS now. And, uh, and here the, here the, here's the name server information here. So if it was uh, if it was pointing to your old host and you've moved hosts, uh, you'd have to change it, and you just change the uh, the two name server settings there, which you should be able to get from the new host. Um, most of these two settings here will start as uh, NS1 and NS2, and then normally it'll end uh, with the uh, the hosting's domain, but double check that first to make sure you've got the correct settings from them and, and basically you just enter them in there and, uh, and click modify and, and, and you're done. So uh, if, if your site's currently being hosted and you change the name servers well then this, your site will go down. So uh, uh, be careful about that and make sure you're, you're set up to uh, your site at your new host before you change the DNS and the, and the name servers. I'll just quickly explain the reason I bought these two domains, doblog.biz, one's got a hyphen between it and the other hasn't. Um, there's, there's quite a trend recently um, towards buying domains that are uh, keywords and have a lot of, uh, a lot of unique uh, searches through Google every month. Um, and I, and I, I was searching around for a while and I, uh, I found doblog, so I'll just show you how many searches that uh, those two words attract uh, each month and if you look here I'm using the uh, the Google AdWords keyword tool which is a free tool and if you type in do blog do blog comes up with uh, 2.2 million monthly searches so uh, that's quite popular and that's the reason I bought that domain and I, I'll, I'll plan to uh, build a blog with that at some stage so just to recap, a few things that you want to make sure of uh, when you're changing the DNS, which is the name servers, uh, when you're changing them to point to your, from your current host to your new host, make sure you get the new uh, name server settings correct, and uh, make sure you've set up your new site first, otherwise your, uh, your old site will go down, and it can take up to 24 hours for... Uh, for the change to happen so sometimes it happens fairly quickly within half an hour or, or a few hours but uh, other times it can take up to 24 hours this is the uh, the third step in how to back up your site and move WordPress to a new host using the WordPress plugin and the fourth step will be how to upload and input your, your WordPress back up to your new host database and I'll also include how to easily create a, uh, a MySQL database using the, the database wizard in the cPanel. So that, that's an important step that needs to be done when you're transferring your, your site or, uh, to a new host or domain.